Before I begin my next story, I want to ask you a question. Have you been feeling depressed lately? Have you lost all hope about the future? If your answer is yes, then the pandemic could be one of the reasons for your state of mind. A new study says COVID-19 has left people depressed, anxious and scared, especially the younger generation, people between the ages of 16 and 25. According to this study, more than 60% of people in this age group happen to be scared about their future, especially when it concerns their personal life, education and employment. So what explains this? The study blames something called retarded development. Now what's that? As the name indicates, it's simply development that was hindered due to the pandemic, like personal or professional milestones which people missed out on. Curtsy, lockdowns and travel restrictions. If we speak of professional development, a lot of people fell stuck in their jobs at their workplaces or cited the lack of new opportunities. And this apparently instilled a lack of self-confidence in them, with little hope that their future prospects might change. Let me now give you some numbers. 49% said that their work was not what they expected it to be. 60% said that they lacked the confidence to make up their minds. 39% said they were unable to focus on a particular task at hand for a sustained period of time. And 37% said that they were struggling to communicate with their seniors. Now all this is as far as professional development is concerned. The figures for the personal development front are equally intriguing. Once again, the younger generation admitted to missing important milestones. Because they were locked down, they were isolated. Listen to this. The report found that one in five of those between the ages of 16 and 19 years of age missed out on starting their first relationship. 15% of 20 to 25 year olds said that they couldn't be in a relationship due to the pandemic. Now to some, this may sound trivial, frivolous, but to others, it's a big deal. There have been countless other studies on how people's mental health has deteriorated due to the lack of romantic relationships during the pandemic. The lack of companionship, social contact, conversation. Next question. Can these findings be generalized? I ask this because the study was conducted in the United Kingdom, with 2,000 British citizens being the sample. This begs the question, naturally, are others around the world going through the same problems? To some extent, yes. Recently, a study found that young adults in California are experiencing alarming rates of anxiety, all because of the pandemic. Another study from Japan found that 35% of people feel depressed, lonely and isolated. Again, curtsy the pandemic. And once again, it is the people in their 20s and 30s, the younger generation, which is the hardest hit. Similarly, in India, a 2021 study found that 14% of youngsters between the ages of 15 and 24 felt depressed due to the isolation prompted by the pandemic. Fear, loneliness and grief being the most common symptoms. Something to think about. To put it simply, pandemic-induced depression seems to be a global phenomenon. Young people almost everywhere are dealing with anxiety and the unwillingness to talk about it could be making things even worse. I'll just say that if you happen to be one of them, we suggest you talk to a friend or a family member, perhaps even consider taking therapy. Because at the end of the day, there's nothing that the human mind can't defeat. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.